Well, this could be interesting. Today we're trying Wild West and Wizards as requested by Patreon subscriber Mich Michelle Chasen. Is there anything I... Zip. 90 is always the correct... Oh, that's fair. That's the cap, apparently. Mm, get out of here. Oh, Bloom can be fine, depending on what they're going for. Chromatic Aberration, you're a Wild West game. Get out of here. Eh, fine. I'll see how it's implemented, but Motion Blur is usually annoying. Eh. Maximum. But no Motion Blur. Go away. Alright. This is supposed to be like a Wild West and Wizards. I guess that's the name of the game. <laughs> but it's a Wild West game with magic, and also it's an RPG open world type thing, I think. I think. Select class wizard or coming later. Alright. I do believe this is an early access game. Got a few hairstyles to pick from. Uh Somewhat disappointing lack of randomizer. I I can't see the eyes from here, so I have no idea what my, my eye color even is. Well, that's about it. Wizard. A wizard is a master of the elements of fire and ice. They use magic crafted from the elements in order to cast many powerful elemental spells. As a wizard, you'll be able to specialize in cold and heat abilities, allowing you to obliterate foes with an array of spells that deal impressive amounts of damage. Sure. <laughs> Was robe yeeter. <laughs> Listen, there's not a name randomizer. We don't have time for this. So whatever dumb thing comes to mind, we're sticking with it and we're moving on. Those are bullets. You have unlimited basic ammo of each type of weapon. However, oh, loading this ammo costs mana. Okay. This might be the first time I played a first-person shooter in a long time where I didn't have to immediately turn down my my aiming sensitivity. R. Oh, that's how I reload. Press F to lock aim. When aiming down the sight, you can lock your aim onto a nearby enemy if there is any. While, uh, while helpful, this does not guarantee a hit on moving targets and cannot hit headshots. So it's just the I'm really bad at aiming mode, I guess. Yeah. Boof, 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 doof. Yeah, I'm never using that. I don't know if I even really need to use iron sights, honestly. I got a keyboard and mouse, I'm good. If you're going to be a gunslinger, you need to know how to shoot properly. You can aim down the sights of your weapon to line up a perfect hatchet. Alright, so we already that's already the stuff we learned how to do. Magic folk have been traveling in the West much better these days. Most towns have bind stones for allowing you to easily travel to one you've bound to from any location. So these are waypoints. There's also teleport runes scattered across the world, as well as in most wizard shops. Simply touch a teleport rune to activate it, allowing you to travel to it at any point. Just open your map, find the rune. Okay. So. Whoop. There's the map. Huh. <laughs> oh god, there's multiple. They keep happening. Uh, kind of a basic looking map. Kind of really artificial looking boundaries and so on. It's not exactly a natural look. It's kind of like looking at a, a map of Azeroth, where there's clearly a bunch of weird box canyons that are perfectly designed to section off each zone. Alright. Oh. Oh, that's what I look like now. Good to know I'm not still naked like I was in the in the character creator screen. That would have been bad. That's not a bad look for a character. Like, that's, that's an alright art style. Look a little weird with my arms stuck, hanging perfectly at my hips and not... Like, I don't know what to do with them. Alright, let's try Q. Poof. Huh. Let's try hitting an actual target with Q. A boof. Ice. Resisted. What do you mean, resisted? Wait, it only sometimes resists it? You think it would always resist it because it's a dummy. Does it have variable resistance? Huh. 
So fire does damage over time, whereas ice does not, I don't think. But it probably slows it. Oh, wow. The fire, the damage over time lasts a while. At first I was like, why does it take less damage from fire than it does from ice? It's a piece of wood. But then I realized how long that tick keeps going. I'd have to sit there and pay closer attention to figure out how much damage it actually does. This well is garbage. A key. A cellar. Hey, the cellar. The front door locked? No. There's a bed. Huh. I should have checked those barrels better. They probably had a bunch of stuff in them. Bible pamphlet. How do I look at my inventory? Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah! All the go-to interaction buttons are actually other things. If I ain't here... Oop, new quest to the frontier. If I ain't here, just head up the path to the edge of town. There's an inn for sleeping and a saloon for drinking. Watch for bandits on the trail. They stay away from town, but they're all around. Lookout Earl. Thanks, Lookout Earl. Not to be confused with Lookout for Earl. Little photos here and there of the locale. Oh, neat. Nice little chance to glimpse at what other parts of the game are going to look at. Look like. It's actually a pretty alright art style. Maybe a, maybe a little too barren. Very slightly, but it's... It's getting there. It's close. I did see this cross and immediately think of Superland and think, huh? Who's keeping one empty glass in a barrel? And that's the only thing in the barrel. Now we have the key to the cellar. There's a safe down here. Amethyst, some potions, a potion of smarts, an orb of upgrade. Allows a blacksmith to help you upgrade an items level by one. Allows a trainer to help you upgrade an abilities level by one. Works to upgrade something from level one up to level four. Interesting. I think it's in feedback because it's an early access game. Ooh, I got some whiskey. Oh, it already looted. Oh, pressing F. I don't have to click on stuff. I can just press F twice and it'll, it'll loot. Whatever I saw. Low quality lizard skin. That sounds really judgmental of that li li Listen, that lizard lived a hard life. You don't- you can't judge that lizard. It's rude. Exceptionally rude. How do I open my inventory? Uh, C, apparently. Bible pamphlet. Common resource. A Bible pamphlet belonging to the preacher of Edgetown. Bring ten of these to him for reward. Ah. So I can't actually read it or anything. It's just, it's a resource to collect. I've read that book. I've read that book, and I think those are the books around here. So that's the tutorial we're getting for now. Back on shells, lots of stuff around here. Oh, shift is run. Yep, that makes a difference. Friend? Not friend. Not friend at all. Slowly die, please. Do you have hit scan? He does. Oh, he, he, oh no, he T-poses for a second when he dies. Uncommon revolver bullet. Pro tip, if you have a gun and you find a weapon, if you find a bolt that is uncommon, I don't really recommend putting it in your gun. Sounds like a, sounds like a more like a gun, bullet that wouldn't work in the gun. I don't know guns that well, but that sounds like bad advice to put something like that in there. If you're going to stay alive in the West, you'll need to know a thing or two about combat. First and foremost, dodge. Any gunslinger worth their salt knows to move out of the way attacks. If you time your dodge correctly, you can completely avoid enemy attacks. Dodging will use some stamina, though, so make sure you're charged with energy before tumbling in the dirt. There's a dodge. Uh, how do I move on with the tutorial? Oopsie, I hit X and it did something. Oh, it used a mana potion. Gotcha. So shift makes me move around. Gotcha. Am I crazy or did that thing just tell me to dodge but didn't tell me how to dodge? I can jump. Hit. Jumping does not use stamina in this game. Oof. Oh no, an enemy wizard. Who also is shooting me with a gun? 
That really seals the deal on the aesthetic of this game. It makes it really real. Oh god. Got decked in the face. I'm out of energy to cast with. Shit. There you go. I can use the iron sights to aim my shots better. You know what you did. <laughs> this, this wizard with a fucking bandana on their face. What an aesthetic, man. It's so much loot, I can't sit here and pay attention to all of it. But it's good to keep an eye on for now. Just to make sure I grab it all. Staying alive is important. Well, if it wasn't, then why are you reading this book? Anyway, you need to learn about potions and bandages. If you're going to survive this a duel, you're probably going to need to heal up or recharge your mana. Health potions and mana potions can be invaluable in keeping you alive. Also, bandages are quite useful to help heal your wounds, even as, as you're fighting an enemy. I accidentally clicked on it again. Uncommon revolver bullets abound. A banknote, but just one. Hmm. Go away. M is map, J is journal. Items abilities each have a level. You can improve them by increasing their levels. Most towns have blacksmith to upgrade items and wizards to upgrade abilities. R is changing. Okay, there we go. I've now been through the items. I got pants! There you go. Upgraded pants are equipped. That's why I came back to that menu. That was my real motivation. Deep down. Edge Town. <laughs> Did they call the mayor of Edge Town? The Edge Lord? <laughs> Also, it's called Edge Town because it's on the edge. It's on the edge of the world. Apparently. A lot of loot so far. God damn. Still not sure how to dodge. Unless they just meant run. There's one way to find out. Settings. Key binding. Dodge, run. Uh, yeah, that, that's they dodge is run apparently. What? Oh yeah. Okay, no, I get it. When you're moving forward, you go forward at a, at a static speed. Oh, actually, I think the first, I think when you first press uh, shift, regardless, you have a speed boost. And that might be the dodge, because at least it, it definitely uses a lot of stamina at first when I first get it. Make line it up. Nope. Aw, oh, I can't make it line up. It's different width. But when you're, when you're strafing, if I press shift, it goes woof. Actually, it's a little less noticeable than I thought it was. Eh. He ducks a little bit. Maybe, hit, maybe it has iframes where it prevents bullets from hurting you. Woo. Ah. Uh. So there's my infinity bullets, there's my limited normal bullets, and there's my uncommon bullets that I guess are more better. Who's keeping a table out here at a camp? Alright. Are you an enemy? Deal in! Uh, I think Dylan is non hostile. I'm kind of suspecting that maybe everyone I've seen hasn't been hostile, and that I've just been shooting innocent people. In which case, whoops. I can actually, yeah, I can dig this music and I can dig this visual aesthetic. This is this actually looks like it could be promising. I don't know if a looter shooter is necessarily my my jam, but as far as this stuff goes, as a random early access game on Steam, this is definitely surpassing expectations. Also, this is aesthetically hilarious, like wizards walking around with revolvers is just a fantastic visual. Mm -hmm. Howdy, friend. I'm Father Mark, and I try to preach the word the around these parts. Though it's been rather difficult to advertise my services with my pamphlets gone missing. Yeah, I had a big stack of Bible pamphlets that I used to spread the word. Hundreds of them, all gone. Don't know what happened to them. Hey, I'll tell you what. If you find me, if you find some, bring them back to me and I'll reward you. 
Let's say every ten you bring me, I'll give you something valuable for your time. Sound good? Sure thing. Fantastic. Well, good luck out there and be safe. And headshot. He'd probably kill me because he's level five. At least it doesn't bode well for me. Why are all the crosses iffy shaped? Their arms, like, are tilted upward. I just pointed a gun at a Bible. I'm a great guy. Definitely from f some frame drops. I did- I am playing on high- on high graphic settings, which... You should never do on an indie game. Cause you always want to do one tick below the highest setting. Cause the highest setting is usually when they just completely unlock your settings completely. And that's usually when they're like, what if I just completely max out your CPU and graphics card? What's that? You have a 1070? Doesn't matter. We're going to take it all. Hey, Scott. Hey, Bethany. What do you got? Oh, I thought she had a bigger gun for a second there. Wanted a poster. The bounty board. New quest. Wanted. Freddy Four Fingers. That is an inordinate number of fingers, as it turns out. Might want to get that checked out. Rifle bullet. I don't got no rifle, though. Jolene. Here's the bank. I really am just running everywhere with my gun out, and it, it, is, it, does, it does bother me a little bit. I'm gonna steal your flowers, bank. I'm a good guest. Oop, it's doing that weird thing where it clips through. Oh, oh, no, that's because I can just walk through it. Whoopsie. I don't think I have much use for a bank at the moment, or in general, given that this is a one-off preview video. Okay, yep, this is, we're, yeah, we're still dealing with wizards, so there's gonna be a tree inside of a house with sparkles and stars and rune stones around, because that's just part of the life, man. Nothing happens. And steal, 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 steal. Steal, steal. The Edgetown wizard. What could I do for you? Upgrade ability? Ice. That's gonna cost one of my upgrade orbs and 100 gold, of which I have uh, zero. I have zero gold so far. That's gonna be a problem for me. A wizard who wishes to call themselves a wizard, a master, must learn how to identify scrolls. It is the root of our discipline to be able to learn, study, and turn that knowledge into magic. First, you need to become familiar with deciphering various texts. No wizard can know all the magical languages, of, of course. Nevertheless, you should study some of the primary ones. Once that is done, we need to move on to the art of transcription. Ah, I started over again. No! Okay. I did... Let's see, C is my inventory? I see. I do have a scroll. Each is a spell that the caster... That coats the caster in, in ice, adding extra armor. Bring it to a town wizard to be deciphered. Oh. Identify scroll. There we go. Select an ability scroll from your inventory to... Uh, I've already done that. Um... What do I do now? Um, I identified the scroll. What do I do next? Shop. Um, I'm not really sure what to do now mechanically. The scroll is gone, I think. But how do I learn it? Like I identified it now, so. We're... Abilities. There we go. Okay. Haha! -ha. Ice armor. There we go. That was a little bit of a hard inventory element to find, but I found it, damn it. I found it good. And now I'm looting this man's house. My experiments are going smoothly, but I don't feel like I'm making much progress. Crafting spells is difficult enough. Usually only done by more experienced wizards. Though I'm not afraid to dabble. If anyone in town knew what kind of spell I was trying to make, well... Nevertheless, we mustn't wait for the approval of others before trying new things. Our first hint at story. We have 
a wizard that's doing dangerous, potentially unethical experiments in this town. Hmm? Howdy, friend. I'm a bit busy now, can't you see? Hmm? I wish my character would put his gun away. If there's a way to do that, I don't know what to do. Tab. Uh, it says hold R and then one of them says tab. I think tab might change my gun if I had more than one gun in the first place. Hmm. Because now when I'm in town, I wish I wasn't just like, hello, how do you do? And you're just like pointing a gun directly at their head while you talk to them because that's how you that's how you point your screen at them to talk to them. It's a little, it's weird me out a little bit. Just a wee, just a wee bit. It's a wee bit weird me out. Sheriff Jasper. Howdy, friend, and what can I do for you? Oh, this is a stick-up. I'm taking the inmate. Ah, uh, just a bandit caught trying to steal some whiskey from town. They keep coming in from the cave north of here. I don't have the manpower to clear them out, so if you have that, head that way, be careful. The cave north of here. You know what? I could use some action, because we're just kind of hanging out right now. Let's just go north to some cave and fight something. I don't, ha I don't have the time in this preview video to fully explore this town. But that was our little preview. Let's go find a cave now. I'm gonna run over here. Shoot something. How long does my armor last? It says it in the top right corner that I still have armor, so I guess it must still be lasting then. I'll pick this place clean. That's a, that is a wizard tower back there. That is a wizard ass tower on the horizon. Got mesas, got a rocky everything. And that looks a lot like a bandit. This might be where the, the way to the cave. Ooh, boom. Oof. I think that was a, a stealth detection screen. There we go. I, I'm pretty satisfied with the ice spell. It goes and just gets him. Like it just takes off and then like there's a serious physics impact as it as it makes contact. Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally used lock on, lock on. I didn't mean to do that. Boom. There we go. That was an ouchie. Uh, nine? No, Z. Nine is the number of healing spells I have. Oh, those, those are not very strong. These are not very strong at all. Boom. <laughs> I love it. Boom. There's something about the charge up and then the way that it just it's just gone like it is just gone after a moment the speed at which that the the spell just vanishes and hits them and then the the ragdoll that they have if it, it kills them is just so severe that it's really satisfying <clears throat> get me some headshots shit that's the wrong button mixing up all of my butt all of my hotkeys are all not what i think they are I'm getting used to. That orb is ours now. No one can take it from us. Not if we don't have it. It's hidden there for safekeeping. Right there. An orb. There's a chest here. Is that where the orb is? A uh, ring of major minor heat resistance. I'll take it. I keep pressing I to open my inventory, and that's not how this works. Where's the... Oh, was it... It auto-equipped because I didn't have a ring yet? That makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> he was, uh... Non-observant. Ooh, my eye spell's floating. Ah, shit. Sorry about that. Sorry about the corpse. I didn't necessarily find a cave, but I found other outlaws. Dude, there's so many outlaws. How's anyone get, get things done around here? So many outlaws. Rare revolver bullets. Can't be that rare, I found it already. Abandoned cabin. I'd be curious to hear from people who have played this game more. The main point of curiosity is, is this game better or worse than Fallout 76? 
Because that'd be real funny if one of those was the answer. <laughs> People at Edgetown don't like me? Fine. I'll make my way to Lake Town and leave these a bunch of low lass behind. I have to return to my secret stash, though. Good thing I keep it hidden out back. I'm stealing all your food and items. That's a lot of windmills. That's a lot of windmills. Oh, day-night cycle. Woodlog. I don't think that's the stash. Oh, there's the stash. Ooh, Abigail's Pendant. What is that? Is that a quest item, or is it a cons uh, equipable item? Uncommon resource. Inscribed on the back are the words to Abigail from Ben. Huh. We won't know. I'm sure you can meet the characters Abigail and Ben, and one of them wants that pendant. But I don't think we're gonna find them today. I wanna check out that tower. I poked in the general direction of where I thought there might be outlaws in a cave. I didn't find a cave, but I found outlaws, so my 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 goal was accomplished. So I'm gonna move on, cave or no cave, and check out that tower. Boom. I'm not really knocking out of the park with my aim at the moment, am I? I'm on my way to level two. I only just now noticed the experience meter. Should have generally expected it to exist, so it's not that much of a surprise. But I had not actually made... Eye contact? Whoa. What? Evil scorpions. That is not even a th Ah! Stop it. Oh, right, stop moving. Not gonna lie, when a projectile came by... I was not even looking for scorpions, so I looked like right at the source of the projectile and didn't register that that's what I was looking at. The wildlife is a threat, whatever amount there might be. I'd say that I dig the visuals, more so I dig the the art direction and the color palette, but I feel like it's like 20% more lo-fi than I would hope for, like it's just on the edge of like being a little too budget in the visuals, or even for the art style. But I can kind of dig it. What is happening up there? Oh, that's the right, that's the moon. Wait, is the sun coming up? Did, was that nighttime earlier? Did nighttime already happen? Maybe. This tower looks way closer. Okay, it doesn't look any closer than it was at the beginning. Where am I? Oh, that's the tower. 
That's where I started, and that's the that's the shack, and that's Edge Town. And I'm actually not on the map. Which is kind of rough. With sufficient landmarks, you could look at a map like that and be like, Oh yeah, I can tell where I am without actually having an icon tell you exactly where you currently are. Like, I'm not against a game map not telling you where you are. But this is a pretty... Like, the map is pretty desolate. Like, the map's mostly empty space. There's not a lot of point of reference to look at or judging. I don't respect roads and landmarks. I run in straight lines in open world games. Ah, stop it. Cut it out. Ah, stop it. More armor. Save me. There's scorpions around. Ah, shit. I'm like running directly into them. It's getting closer. The tower is gaining textures. I'm gonna get there and not even be allowed in, because you probably have to get like four hours into the story or something to even gain access to going into it or something. You can see the base from now, from here. This probably looks absolutely massive up close. Is that a golem? Oh shit. Earth elemental. Doof. Oh, he, he's not taking damage. That's, I should be concerned about this. You know what? Time to pull out the big shit. Rare revolver bullets. There you go. Body shots or else. Got him. Yeah. And back to regulars. Oopsie. There we go. New enemy type. Definitely getting into a high level zone. Higher level zone, because that guy did not go down easy. I don't, oh, this looks like it's going to be really hard to get to this tower. I'm going to die on the way in, aren't I? <clears throat> Ow. That's not a good sign, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa. Okay. That was interesting. <laughs> I, like, I, like, super jumped out. I wonder if that's an intended way of getting unstuck. Oh, we're not getting there. <gasps> Alright. I didn't mean to... Didn't quite mean to do that. Well, that was a moot... Quest, but hey! If you'd like to check out Wild West and Wizards, there's a link to the Steam page in the description. Thank you to the developer for sending me your code so I can preview their game. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time. He did.